Hi, welcome to the Privacy Project. I'm John Cilio. We're here in the Cilio Privacy Lab. Just returned from a speech at the FDIC in Washington, D.C., which is where I got this very cool FDIC hat. And I had a question at the end of the speech that I wanted to answer by actually showing you rather than just telling you. The person asked what they could do about all of the equipment that they keep in their car, the uh, digital equipment, the documents that they keep in their car, uh, and, and be able to protect identity, be able to protect corporate data uh, in their car more than just locking it in their trunk. So I thought I'd show you uh, the product that I use. It's, it's a phenomenal little product. It's called the AutoSafe. It's uh, made by SentrySafe, who makes the uh, the fire safes for your home uh, as well as regular type safes and let me just show you how I use it. Uh, it simply does this, it straps into your car and we'll, sh we'll show you how it straps into the car but straps into your car with a cable so that you can lock things down that you're going to keep in your car. So for example the uses that I put it to are this, I'm constantly carrying electronics with me of all sorts that are worth a ton that have all kinds of data on them. For example, my Blackberry. When I want to lock it up in the car, if I'm going to be inside some place or I don't want to carry it with me, I put my Blackberry in. I put my iPhone in, which happens to be ringing right now. I can put my iPhone in there. I can take, this is the, the best use of it, I can take the uh, hard drive out of my notebook computer, almost any hard drive from a notebook computer will fit into this auto safe and I can take all the data which is worth on average 20 times the value of the computer. If it's a $2,000 computer, the average business laptop will have $40,000 of data on it unless you're the Veterans Administration or someplace else where you have 26, 28, 30 million identities on it. So you can put your phones in, you can put your uh, your hard drive. If you've got a GPS system or a camera that you don't want to carry with you at all times, it fits in there. If you want to put in, let's say you carry a, uh, a USB memory stick that you want to be able to lock up while you leave your car. By the way, you can take this entire thing if you uh, are, are driving someplace and staying in, in a hotel, you can take this into your hotel room in case they don't have a safe to put your stuff in and you can lock it to uh, something physical in there. Um, another device I keep in there is my Paladin. I'll, I'll uh, review this in the future. This is a device that, that is just virtually unbreakable in terms of keeping your data on it. It's like a USB jump drive, uh, but it's considerably safer and, and we'll talk about that later. I keep my Paladin in there as well. I may keep documents in there. I might keep my wallet or my, my car documents in there. Uh, registration, insurance card. One thing to be careful with that is if you get pulled over, you have to explain to the policeman, listen, I don't want to be a victim of identity theft. I lock up my documents and uh, don't mind that phone. Uh, lock up my documents and uh, keep them with me, but they're extra safe. You close this down, you lock it into your car, and it's physically locked down, double because it's inside your car and of course because it's inside of the auto safe. Why don't we, uh, first of all, I want to introduce the cameraman who's behind all the videos that we put together, whether they're the corporate ones or the casual ones like this. I want to introduce you to uh, my father, Jim, who uh, is the master behind all this. Jim, come over here. We'll introduce him. The FDIC especially wants to see him. Hi, FDIC. They gave him a hat too, so <laughs> he's the. I love it. <laughs> These are great hats. Thank you so much, and uh, thanks for having us out to speak. I hope this answers the question for uh, the person in the audience that that wanted to know more about uh, protecting stuff in their car, whether it's small documents, passports, uh, or electronic media. We're going to take you out to the car right now, and we'll just show you how it how it uh, hooks in, and then we'll be done. Thanks. All right, we're outside now at my lovely Prius, and I'm going to show you how to strap it into the, the back of my car. You can also, of course, put this underneath your seat. You can strap it to your seat, either from the front or from the back. 
Um, I like to keep mine in, uh, in the back of my car. Uh, of course, this is all because smash and grabs, uh, broken, broken into cars are becoming one of the latest places that everything from GPS to cell phones to uh, identity documents, laptops, notebooks are being stolen. That's, that's the whole point of this. So it's as simple as this. You take your, uh, your sentry safe, your auto safe, you take the uh, strap, I've got some metal straps in here, uh, some metal uh, eyelets that I can hook it through. You simply thread it through that, and that could be a, a bar that's, that's underneath your seat or whatever. You wrap it around there so that it's now got a locking position. You slide it in to the auto safe. You close it. Well, you lock it, you've now got it locked into the car, I tuck it back in here with the cable, I generally close this up, nobody can even see it from inside, but if they ever get in there, they either have to have a cable cutter, which they generally don't have, or uh, or they're unable to get to the safe. It's an added layer of protection. Very easy. Thanks so much for joining us with the Privacy Project. We'll be back again uh, soon with a new gadget that helps you protect your privacy.